Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy for Slimming God in Burlington, Kansas. It is Sunday, the 13th of January. Yes, it is Sunday. I'm doing devotions once again. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be uh, hear some life-giving words. I also want to encourage you that if you live in Coffee County and you don't have a church and you're looking for a church, we would love to have you as our guest. We're in a series called Soul Detox that goes right along with these devotions. And, and our services start at 1030. We're on the corner of 9th and Yuba in Burlington, Kansas. We'd love to have you come and be our, one of our guests. We're, we're just expecting a great move of God. So come out and join us at 1030. Watch this devotional and then come join us. So Here's what we're talking about today. Here, here's the devotional. Not only should we speak life-giving words to others, but we should also speak them to our circumstances and our lives. The toxic words we, we speak to ourselves can be some of the most dangerous. Here, here's a question. What types of toxic words are you saying to yourself? What steps do you need to take to stop saying these toxic words to yourself? Listen to Mark 11, 12 through 25. The next day when they came out of the, from Bethany, he was hungry. After seeing in the distance a fig tree with leaves, he went to find out if there was anything on it. When he came to see it, to it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for figs. He said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from this you again. And his, and his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem, and he went to the temple complex and began to throw out those buying and selling in the temple. He overturned the money changers, tables, and chairs for selling of the, those selling doves and would not permit anyone to carry goods throughout the, through the temple complex. Then he became to, began to teach, It is written, My house will be called the house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. Then the chief priests and the scribes heard it and started looking for the way to destroy him. For, the, for they were afraid of him because of the whole crowd was astonished by his teaching. And whenever evening came, they would go out of the city. Early in the morning as they were passing by, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots up. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you, that you cursed is withered. Jesus replied to them, Have faith in God, I assure you. If anyone says to the mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore I tell you that all things you pray and ask for believe that you have received them, and you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven will also forgive you. Uh, your wrongdoing. So let me encourage you today that that as you follow Christ, as you continue to read His Word, as you continue to look on, begin to think, what things have you spoken on your own life? What things do you continue to say that you're not going, you're, you're just cursing your life? How are you going to change that today? What are you going to Start doing differently that you don't have to continue to, to curse yourself. Well, let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that, Lord, that you bless every single person. Lord, encourage them. Lord, let them walk in your light. Lord, may they see themselves as you see them, as precious children, Lord. I pray that you bless them with a great day. Give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you Monday. God bless you. Bye-bye.